Okay, good day to all of you. So what we're going to learn for today is we're going to create a simple Hello World program using the uh, Arduino web editor. So for the last version, uh, for the last um, videos, I've showed you how to create a simple Hello World program using the Arduino IDE. So let's start learning of how to do this in the Arduino web editor. So since it is a web editor, you must be connected online. You must have an internet connection. So let's open a browser. So example, we have the Google Chrome. This is, uh, uh, this is the installed um, web browser. So let's type the site, which is create.arduino.cc. So the web editor actually is inside the web page of the Arduino Create. So we have this, the web editor, the IoT cloud, and then manager for Linux if your operating system is Linux. And also, it is uh, also located here, the digital store. So there are also advertisements related to Arduino. So actually, Arduino Create is a one-stop source for Arduino enthusiasts and hobbyists. So for this time, we're going to um, use the web editor. So let's click the web editor. Okay, then we will be uh, directed to another page, which is the login page. So if you are already an existing um, Arduino user or you already have an Arduino account, you may log in. But since this is your first time here um, for using the Arduino web editor, so we have to create a new account. So let's click the create a new account. Okay, this is, uh, we are directed to the sign up page. So, okay, decide what will be your username. Okay, for the email, as I've said, as much as possible, use the email that is provided to you by the university. Because as I've said, um, more um, companies, specifically educational uh, companies or software companies, if they... If the student or someone uses the university domain email address, uh, most of them um, has discounts, uh, gives freebies and premium access if you are using the university domain email address. So let uh, please use the university email domain address and then decide your password. And of course, there's a confirmation if you type the password at uh, the password that you indicated has matched with your confirmed password. So next is we have, we have this, I confirm to have read the po private policy and accept the terms of service. Since it has a um, asterisk, it is uh, important. You have to put a check on it. And then these three options, it is optional. So optional, if you want to receive their newsletter or you want uh, processing of your personal data for marketing purposes consisting in commercial offers sent by email, and another one, uh, you are uh, permitting them to automate processing of your personal data by means of profiling in order to receive commercial offers customized on the basis of your browsing and purchasing behavior. But then again, you have the choice if you want to select this, but it's very important that the first option is, uh, is checked. And then click Create Account. Um, since I already have an account, so let's go back to the uh, login page. So I'll input my domain, university domain email address, and then I will type my password. Okay, wait for the program, uh, for the web page to load. Okay, let's wait for loading. Okay, so this is the interface of the Arduino web editor. Um, there is a slight difference with regards to interface, but then the functionality is almost just the same with the Arduino IDE version. So this is this menu bar for sketchbook. So you're going to search here if you have many um, sketchbooks that you have uh, in, uh, uploaded in here or you have done in this um, platform. And then you could also click the new sketch and then these are the list of, uh, this will, um, 
uh, this will uh, display the list of your sketchbooks and then example uh, like the Arduino IDE version they have some built-in example um, that uh, is already included in the Arduino IDE and also here in the web editor and then for the libraries for example if you're going to use a particular sensor that Arduino has no libraries yet you can search the libraries since this is online um, they can locate the libraries that is needed for a particular um, device that is to be connected in your Arduino board. And this one is the monitor. So this will be, um, this will show you the, the activity for displaying text. Um, serial port unavailable. It's because I haven't connected the board yet in my computer. And then there's also a help. And then if you have any questions or you have, or you have any um, difficulty or or any other assistance or tutorial. And then preferences. Actually, the original color of the work area is color white. I already changed it. So also the default is um, 14, but you can change it uh, depending on your readability. And then you can select, uh, I've selected dark theme. I, I like it darker than the, light one, than the light theme. But the default, when you open first your um, Arduino web editor, it will be in light theme. Okay, so there are other options. You can, this is the default. I did not um, uh, customize it. I only customized the, the display or what it looks like. And then uh, we have other options. So I, I did not um, uh, concern you may check it or not, but it, this is the default option. This is the default when I use the web editor from the last time. And then for the features usage, okay, for this we have, there is limit. So uh, 100 megabyte limit for your sketches. Actually, um, the sketches of the Arduino, it's too small. It just counts uh, 2 kilobytes, 1 kilobyte. So actually 100 uh, megabytes is already uh, okay. You're not going to create at least 100 or... 50 sketchbook here and then for sketches is uh, again it's limited only to 100 sketches and then the compilations is 200 uh, 200 seconds per day so and then if you want uh, if you're not contented with it you can upgrade plan so this is the free plan you can upgrade it of course you're going to pay but this is already fairly uh, fairly good for for uh, for making um, projects using the Arduino web editor. Okay, so let's get back here. And then we have the, of course, this is the verify and save, just the same icon. And then we also have the upload and save. Okay, this one is uh, the one that we're going to, to, to determine where is the, Arduino board. I haven't, uh, as, as I've said earlier, I haven't connected it yet. But uh, before you open this, for example, you're a first time user um, opening the Arduino web editor, there will appear that you need to connect a plug, uh, install a plugin. So for installing a plugin, um, first is, uh, there's a separate tutorial for this one. Um, you are directed to install the plugin. Um, my advice is, um, as much uh, because um, this plugin controls your Arduino board, um, some actually some most third party antivirus software considered it as a Trojan malware. So, if you're going to install it with no problem, you can disable first your antivirus. And um, this is not actually uh, antivirus, and this is not actually a Trojan, it's just that the behavior looks like a Trojan because it controls a, com a part of your computer, but it is a legit Arduino software. And then you will be, uh, then after installing, you can um, return it to the, uh, uh, or enable your antivirus. But uh, for this one example, this is my antivirus. Um, for this duration, I, uh, disabled it but I, I do have a basic antivirus for microsoft windows 10 which is the uh, windows security it's already included in the software it may it's more lenient so the only downside of using this um platform is that 
the third party antivirus software actually this is free uh, made uh, this will consider them as uh, a malware or uh, specifically a trojan so it's up to you if you have if you want to use this but that's the only downside they consider the uh, bridge the arduino create bridge as a trojan okay let's try to connect the board in my computer so okay so as you can see there's a message that arduino uno has been connected so you already seen this one com3 so it automatically detects um, the port where the arduino board is connected and the type of board okay so this one we have the three dots there are other commands here the save save as rename sketch download sketch share sketch display sketch info or delete sketch and then since we are online if you want to share it share your your code you can click share so it's either a link or embed it in your website or or in any other plat online platforms that you are going to use okay then here we have the command rename a sketch but actually if you're going to click here you can already rename your sketch so let's rename the sketch as hello world okay uh, let's just put to be sure the file name extension that i n o okay so when i'm clicking uh, when i'm typing period it appears under uh, underscore so okay just let's uh, rename the sketch and then okay okay so it will automatically provide the file name extension for the um, arduino um arduino sketch okay so we have as just like the um arduino ide void setup and void loop is already uh, automatically generated in the work area the only difference also we also have the readme.doc so we have this if you're a newbie or first time users you can read this part okay so let's go back with the hello world so again for hello world A simple hello world since again we're going to use serial serial monitor so let's type in void setup serial dot begin 9600 and then don't forget the semicolon and then you can see just like the arduino ide it also has a color uh, color coding depending on the syntax that you're going to use and also um the 9600 there's also a color in here not like in the arduino ide it's color black so this is uh this has more a, a comprehensive color coding for each of the syntax or the the needed data or, or or for the functions okay so let's try the first the let's put a display hello world once so serial dot print ln then hello world uh, don't forget the double uh, open and close uh, the double quotes because uh, this is a string so you need to um, put hello world string inside the double quotes and then again the semicolon and then since this is automatically saved so let's verify and check if we do have a syntax error in our uh, simple arduino sketch so it is automatically saved and there is a summary of the status so success saved on your online sketchbook and done verifying hello world so just the same the same um message or this uh, the same status message that you have seen in the arduino ide so okay then let's try to upload and of course it will be automatically saved if it's not yet saved uh, there's a status of busy so there is um an um real time status okay okay so again 
There's already an indicator that success saved on your online sketchbook and done uploading Hello World. Since since we are using the uh, serial uh, uh, command, so let's look at the serial monitor. Uh, it's already okay. It's because uh, Arduino Uno is already connected. Okay, so it will display just one Hello World. Okay, the only difference also with the Arduino IDE is it does not allow, uh, this does not allow time stamping. Compared to the Arduino IDE, it has a time stamp. Okay. So, again, let's go back with our um, Hello World Arduino sketch. And then let's try to, just like the Arduino IDE, you can cut, you can copy and paste. Okay, let's cut this. And then... Uh, you want Hello World to be displayed repeatedly in succession per new line. So, let's put it in the void loop function. Okay, then again, if you want to make sure, you want to verify first before uploading, you can do so or you can just directly upload it to the Arduino board. So, again, you have no, uh, you have no uh, error since I only cut and pasted it. So, let's upload it again. Okay, serial port temporary BC because we are uploading the Arduino sketch in the board. Okay. Okay, that one. It will continue to generate hello world per line because... Uh, as long as the Arduino board has power. So, it will not stop. Uh, the good thing with the Arduino IDE is we have a timestamp. So, you will exactly know that it will generate continuously and has a time. But unfortunately, for uh, Arduino web editor, it does not have timestamping. But you can see, it, uh, it generates uh, Hello World every new line. Okay. Uh, you can see. So, this is our example or this is the version in the web editor. So, you can see the difference between using Arduino IDE and the Arduino web editor. So, again, as I've said, for you to learn or for you to, uh, to learn something technical or anything, you must experience it, you must use it. So, it's not enough that you watch it. So, I hope that you will also experience using not just the Arduino IDE, but also the Arduino web editor. So I hope with this video, you have learned something. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment. And thank you very much for watching. So please subscribe to my, ch uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel. So thank you very much and good day to all of you.